Let's talk some toys in here. <laughs> Hey, how's everybody doing today? It's the man child. All right, so today up for review, I just got in my Masters Universe Origins Fangor figure, part of the Mattel Creations exclusive sale. Um, yeah, so obviously these were what, like announced a week last week sometime. Uh, <laughs> the sale went up for one day. They I, they sold out in about thirty minutes, and most people I talk to between YouTube and Instagram seem to get one or three. As far as I know, you know, so it did okay before it sold out. Or at least I hope everybody got one that was trying to get one. Um, and then mine shipped the next day, <laughs> along with a lot of other people's uh, Fangor orders, and there's still more shipping. Uh, that's that's awesome, and I really hope that the future figures with Mattel Creation going forward happen. You know, does this? Now I don't know. You know, I guess it's gonna go figure to figure. I know Lady Slither's up next. I heard rumors in September next month she might go up for sale. That would be awesome. But yeah, I hope this is the way the line goes from now on at Mattel Creations. So Fangor, of course, comes in this cool mailer box, like a lot of the exclusives do, with the pencil sketching. And it's pretty much the front and the back. They're, yeah, so just to a couple different pose them in attack mode. Both have the long fangs, though maybe one would have the short fangs. That one's awesome with the moon in the background of sword, so comes in that. So taking a closer look at Fangor's package, what's awesome, he comes with that collector-friendly packaging, just like Camel Con came with. So, yeah, you get the Snake Man logo sticker on the front. Um, yeah, it doesn't have a punch out or nothing like that to hang it. New for 23. But that's, I like this collector friendly packaging. Um, it's got some cool art there. So, we'll be spinning around. Here's the back, and I'll show you how it comes apart. Now, check out that art for a second. That's just incredible. I love it. We have, uh, yeah, Fangor jumping in that pose like we've seen on the pencil art. And if you see this, check that out. You got like a snake uh, attack playset going on there, or castle. I like to see that in Origins, right? You never know the way this line's going. Got Hero over here. I can see Hero coming in the line with the Origins at some point. You know, uh, you can even make one with the Masterverse 1 He-Man body. And then down over here, we got Lady Slither. I can't wait to get her. Like I said, I think September she's going up for pre-order, hopefully. And what I would be interesting to know is if the, we can use the tail for King Hiss and other Snake Men. I, I hope they do that. I know she comes with the legs. And I'm also curious if she's going to be in a deluxe or how she's going to be set up in packaging. But that tail is a big deal for a lot of us, creating a, a snake um, serpent with a lot of figures. Once again, go back to King Hiss, so I hope you can do that with her. So once again, taking a look at the collector-friendly packaging. For those who aren't familiar or how it comes apart, that's it. Just slide the card out. Beautiful card. You can hold on to it. You take this piece off. There's your figure and book. Awesome. So before we take a look at the Fangor figure, of course, he comes with his own unique comic now with Fangor on the front cover called Attorney Remastered. Now it comes in this protective plastic um, piece, which is awesome. Let's open it up, take a look what we got here. And you can try to pause and read. It's the first time I'm looking at it myself. See what's going on here. So we got, okay, it looks like it's supposed to be He Man or something. Huh. Castle Grayskull, but it's, look, it's altered. It has a snake face on it. Wow. Can't wait to read this later. <laughs> look at that. So it's like He-Man, he's like Slither. He has the... Wow, look, some nods going there. To... Yeah, so hopefully once again at Lady Slither bottom, you can, you know, put um, other figures' halves on top. Especially the males. I hope it ain't a female peg. I think they're different. But that's what it's showing me here. And that'd be a cool customer. Maybe another figure coming. Some kind of uh, alternate He-Man. All right, so we got Calcic Resco He-Man back over here. All right, we got anti attorney he man on this side. I'm trying to read a little bit. So it seems like he's in a dream or something. Just briefly what I'm reading. Yeah, or my, or some kind of mind control through the snake men. Awesome art, though. Really cool. We got the snake troopers here. Okay, here's Fangor in the back. All right, take a closer look at that. Flip the next page. See what we got going on. Okay, yep, Fangor. Now here's Lady Slither sitting in the throne back there. There's some other snake men going on. Some other different troopers. This is here. Okay, Fangor once again. Battling going on here. Now he's regular He-Man. I guess he turned finally. Flip the page. We got what is this now? Come on. Okay, so yeah, some kind of mind control device. Oh, look at that. Cosmic He-Man. I have the power burst. So now he's turns into cosmic He-Man. That's cool. I wouldn't mind seeing a variant of that. And right, the last page there. Pretty awesome. Yeah, really unique. He's got a what a backpack on now. He doesn't come with one, but yeah, cool comic. So here's a quick look with Fangor out of package when all his accessories laid out. Um, 
Now, mine already has an issue I'm going to show you. Uh, I actually broke the arm on mine, right? Now you see it, now you don't. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to show you what I did to repair it and what happened. So I took mine out of package. I was just checking out the articulation real quick and ready to, for the review. Usually I start at the head, which we'll go over in a second. This arm worked okay. Everything was, you know, working well. This arm didn't move. I just tried to move it a little bit and snap, broke right off. Now, man, it's working fine, right? Articulated spin. That's because I repaired it already. Look at that. So, yeah, sometimes if you snap these um, joints like that, it can happen. I usually take a drill bit and drill a um, small hole all the way up about half inch in this arm. And then right where the hinge joint is, a, a drill another hole. And this is actually a piece of nail. And I take a pair of specialized cutters, cut the head off, make some little uh, gouges in it just to give it some um, so it catches inside the joint. And then, see that? It can go, locks right on. You can spin it now. I got articulation, it can spin, and everything's fine. <laughs> Back to normal. I mean, I shouldn't have did that. My fault. You know, it's just uh, moving a joint, they break, but that's my repair, and that was my QC issue, so to speak, with my Fangor. So aside breaking my arm, repairing it, as I showed, uh, let's check out the head sculpt. The head sculpt is awesome. They, I mean, this Fangor overall looks a lot like the class, like it could be in the classics or something to me a little bit. You know, Masterverse, but of course he's smaller. I, I love the detail and just the paint, the overall look. Now it looks like he's just basically using King Hiss's arms and legs. So I'll compare that in a little bit. But as far as the head, I loved, I just, yeah, the open mouth, the teeth. The, um, so, of course, he has the short fangs, which will change out. And, uh, yeah, they look cool. Some of the images, they look goofy. But now I have them in hand. They, you know, the, the short ones are okay if you don't want to use the long ones. Now the head, so as far as the head articulation, you can spin left to right. Go down all the way that, you know, about that far and back. Uh, yeah, check out all the details, the scales, the, just the deep yellow eyes. Um, now, this mouth it isn't articulated, but it is rubber, this part, and it, it can move. Actually, the whole, okay, the whole head is rubber. All right, so look at the back, just all the different, uh, yeah, the, just the ridges and scales and whatnot. Now, as far as the teeth, so the short ones, looks like they're just going to, you're going to kind of, looks like they pull out like that. Pull, <laughs> here's this gum, and it's just a piece that plugs in like that as far as the uh, short teeth and how they go in. And now here's a quick look at the uh, long fangs. So they're just, yeah, that's awesome. Um, like the way they're painted. Same, obviously, gum piece. They're pretty soft and flexible. And then we'll pop, we'll snap that in place. And now here's a look with the long fangs on. Um, you can kind of, yeah, once you snap them in, they're, they're flexible enough where you can bend them down or keep them up. They're meant to kind of stick out like that. Yeah, it looks cool, you know. Uh, the only thing is, I wonder if, okay, so if you pull the head all the way back, just how they would strike your opponent, you know, if they, because it looked like they were going to hang down too low. But I guess once, yeah, the head's back, you move them up and you want to, however you want to position it with a figure, which we'll try soon. They work, they work okay. So moving down to the chest and buck, Fangor comes with some new armor that's just unique for him. Uh, yeah, I love these snakes that are sculpted in here. And they're kind of like, um, they're protruding outward, you know, it's not flat to the armor, painted in the same green color as the skin. That's pretty cool. Um, it looks like there's two tabs here, so let's flip it around. It's not on the back, just flat. Oh, check that out. So snakes go all the way around. Okay, and they stop here on both sides. Pretty cool. So to pop the armor off, let's see what it looks like on the armor. We're going to pop the buckles on each side. Do this one first. And then snap this side. And then we can pull the armor right off. I think we can leave the head and fangs on everything. Here's a little closer look at the armor off the body. Once again, yeah, so we know we have the raised snakes here. We got this... Uh, Gold collar piece, paint all the way around here. It's about it. It's pretty soft. And now here's a quick look with the buck with the armor off Angor. Um, yeah, it's just a He-Man Skeletor style buck. And once again, the arms are exactly the same sculpt as King Hiss's arms. There's a King Hiss arm here, but obviously different color. And so he comes with different wrist bracers that are part of the sculpt there. Pretty cool. Match the belt and everything. Uh, back to the arm articulation. Let's do it with the armor off. Now, we already know I broke my arm here. It is repaired. It's working okay, but... You can go up, down, left, right, right? Spin a little bit, bend up at the elbow like this. Fangor comes with two semi-weapon gripping hands, I call them, or semi-closed hands, and they can spin, go in and out. And even with this um, arm here, so I know mine spins, and I got to work as I show, and it can still go up and down, spin in and out. Whole deal, hands. And so for a minute, let's just pop. So we got a regular ball peg here. I'm going to pop that arm off just for just customs. And, of course, the waist comes apart like that. So putting everything back on, we know he spins at the waist, comes apart at the waist. Um, he has his own unique uh, belt now. That's all part. It looks like it's, I don't know if that comes off. doesn't look like it. Or it looks like it might be glued. It looks like mine might be glued around the uh, loincloth. So you have a typical He-Man Skeletor 
loincloth or is that sculpted? No, it's not sculpted. It's it does it can separate, but it's like it's glued or pressed on a mine. If you can see that, but it does you can move it. I'm taking a look at the front of the belt now. So once again, yeah, I can't. It does come off, but it's it's not meant to. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, it's got a snake symbol there with a gold just gold plate. It's uh, that's just painted on. It looks like just that's not like raised like the snakes were in the armored. And a loincloth. It looks like it. I want to say it. Yeah, he may, actually it looks a little bit different to me. Kind of. When I looked under this belt, it looks like there's a groove in here. The belt sits on, it's possibly glued. So it's a short loincloth, but the sculpting looks a little bit different. So I just want to bring in the first release He-Man for a minute. Um, yeah, it's so once again, it's a short loincloth, but it is it is a little different. It's more defined and it hangs down lower here, if you can see it in a typical He-Man uh, loincloth, at least the first release. There's a front and back, so this one has more detail in it. So moving down to the legs now, as far as the articulation, go way out, right? Go forward, bend back, bend up at the knee like this. You can spin at the knee. Uh, yeah, really cool. Not really boots, but like ankle bracer guards going around here. Uh, yeah, just a brown. They can, you can spin at those two, and these can come off, so you can always change them regular boots or something. You didn't want to, uh, you know, didn't like this the setup. Um, and it's uh, so these are the gold pieces that go up to the knees are cool, but it's just it's all part of the same sculpt. These are just painted, not like it's a separate piece. See all the detail on them, and then of course the foot this is one of the typical snake man foot. You can spin on a hinge joint, go up and down, and the legs too, aside the boots. Bringing in King Hiss for a second. See, so it's the same type of leg as King Hiss, but different color and different boots. So moving on to Fangor's other weapons and accessories. Comes with this really cool, like, curved hook sword kind of looking thing. Uh, yeah, I like the handle. It's um, got, a, like, a serrated edge here. It curves, point, and the way that just a cutout. Really neat. It's um, painted up in, like, a flat silver color. Now for his last accessory, he comes with this snake handle, caressing, or adjustable wrench. That's uh, painted in a flat gold color. And now here's a quick look with Fangor with his armor back on. We got the long fangs in, of course. I got the sword in the right hand and wrench in the left. Take a look at that. Yeah, really awesome uh, snake figure and even the couple accessories it comes with. And here's a quick comparison with my uh, Classics Fangor and the card against our New Origins Fangor. Again, I mean, the Classics came out really awesome because it's Classics and he did come out with other, you know, other accessories added. But this Fangor, just the detail and um, paint, it came out really cool. So here's a quick look with Fangor and his uh, battle stance or action pose going head-to-head -head with He-Man, obviously. Um, I want to see how the fangs with the neck articulation goes back to strike his opponent, like how close you have to get. So it's about as best I can get my uh, figure and his head back. Even in the art where he's jumping, it seemed like the head went back further and the fangs, you know, protrude more on an angle to strike his opponent. But I just wanted to uh, demonstrate that. If you wanted to set your Fangor up with another figure, as best I can get mine. So moving on to mixing and matching parts or a little customizing. Um, as far as colors or what snake men we have available, the closest one is Cobra Khan. But even his colors, especially in the arms and legs, are flat where um, Fangor's is, they're glossier. But yet Camero Khan's head and body body's glossier. Matches this somewhat close in my life. But let me see what kind of parts I can um, mix around with these two. So here's a quick look with Fangor's head on Cobra Khan's body. I'll have to I'm gonna leave the long fangs in, but I want to do something like that. Um, yeah, it can match. You know, it's uh, it, it definitely something between the arms and the body. This head it articulates. Uh, li well, Cobra Khan is very bulky up here, but it does work. It articulates okay and doesn't look bad. And now here's a look with Cobra Khan's head on Fangor's body with the armor on. Uh, once again, yeah, and under my light, that head does match the arms and legs really well. And, of course, the body's flat on the arm will leave that, but it works really cool. And putting Fangor's head back on a Fangor body, I want to try to King His Serpent Arms on this. Take a look at that. Looks pretty cool. And now, of course, leaving the King His Serpent Arms on, I put King His's head on that body. So we're making another version of King His with the armored. Different color legs. I was hoping this coil would hide that green on the armor. You kind of can, depending on how you position it. So here's another version of King Hiss. So I just took uh, everything apart and I put the King Hiss body on with, where it's all yellow underneath. Put Fangor's body, you know, armored on his body. We got the lower legs, everything else set up. So all we're doing is just yeah, making another King Hiss up without this, you know, brighter green color in the arms, but using the um, Fangor's lower, uh, you know, legs and then the armored. And I just took the serpent arms off, put Fangor's main arms on. Of course, we can still see the yellow under the body. So I kept the King Hiss um, serpent head on, everything else set up the same. And then the other thing I want to do is put some regular boots on Fangor's feet. So, of course, I used, um, these are King Hiss's boots. 
over these uh, creature feet with the ankle bracer uh, shin guard things going. What's really cool is these boots. The color almost matches the armor and bracers perfect, at least under my light. And here's a quick look with the new Fango on top of our new Origin Snake Mountain. I don't know, it just goes good up there with this giant striking snake. All right, so that pretty much wraps up my review for the new Origins Fangor figure. I think it came out awesome. You know, I couldn't be happier. Just his overall design look, paint, armor, the fangs, uh, weapons. Of course, mine, I broke the arm off, but, you know, it could happen. I've had it with other figures. You either try to get another one or you fix it. I fixed mine. It's working fine. Side that, uh, it's, uh, it's just so awesome to see so many snake men out now. And once again, we got Lady Slither coming. We got a four-pack. It's uh, Mattel. <laughs> Somebody that really likes the snake men. Doing a great job. Keep them coming. So I appreciate all you guys watching. And until next time, take care.